Well, good evening, world morning, I guess. Actually, not evening. This is Mr. Chalkboard. This is my life. I'm just a spectator, as are you. Hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you would. Help grow the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Today, I have a rather small shed. Rather small build. This is a 8x12 Elite. This is one of the new top sellers that we have. Um, yesterday, I got a little sun, so I'm really happy about the uh, overcast today. This is my kind of weather. So, uh base is really easy you lay the base out square it up throw the uh, pro stuck or OSB plywood whatever you order on um, and the rest of this is uh, <clears throat> just the kit all staged as I'm gonna build so I have my siding off to the side everything that I have to do once the walls are up is all on the base so I do that first um, and then my two by fours for for my framing is laid out um, separated so I know where it is uh, and uh, I guess I'm just gonna go through and do everything real quick so um, here we go so for starters we have the gable end units uh, trim attaches to the two by sixes then we have our loft and or our workbench and our shelf so our two by two by threes two by threes with our L brackets we're going to connect all those we have our header with the uh, pieces above the door right there and then I have my um, left and right wall right there um, just staged real quick to go and then I have uh, my uh, four pieces for my gable and trusses that are right here uh, they are a little bit smaller as you can see right here versus the actual framing for them which are a, just a little bit bigger uh, the reason that is is um, they sit just a little differently excuse me on the uh, top plate because the sidewalls have a, a double plate on top so I have all my shelving stuff made, I have my gable ends made, the two sides for the gable ends for the trusses, and then the two skeletons here. I'm just going to throw down four sheets of ply or siding and uh, attach all this, scoot these over to the left, build my back wall, stand two of the walls up, build my front wall, stand the last two walls up. It is... 951 which means I've been here for about an hour a little over an hour and um, This is where I'm at already uh, the customer left to get chemo when he gets back I will more than likely have the four walls up and the trusses going um, I'll keep track of the time I work kind of slow Because uh medical reasons so I don't I don't go as fast as I used to but um, I have all these memorized manuals right over there right there always uh, give the manual to the customer so they can double check your work make sure you're building it right um, so once I get the uh, walls built and the uh, trusses up then I'm gonna start working on the doors and then I'll throw everything inside together and I'll put the doors on so now to drop some siding Siding gun, wherever you're going to be standing the wall up, or to the left or right of whatever side you're standing it. going 
all the way down. I can not change to the base. I'm just doing one on each hand. It's definitely exciting. You can go ahead and pull it up to the base and keep it tight. So I uh, got the siding on the front wall, just did the uh, window real quick. I'd like to thank the uh, Verizon rep that helped me get a um, tablet and a new phone yesterday, or just upgraded my phone. Uh, I would say his name, he's really cool, he uh, subscribed to my channel, but uh, I feel like it's kind of hard to figure somebody's name out there, uh, put it on blast like that, but he's a great representative. Um, Cock your windows. Um, I do left, right, and bottom because uh, that's how water gets in. Water doesn't go uphill. And here we go to stand it up. So after I stand this up and get the fourth wall on, I'm going to throw in all my shelving brackets. I'm going to bring in my trusses. I'm going to bring in the gable ends and put all that together, then put it up. And uh, once that's all done, um, I can put the, put the doors on, throw the roof on. So again, we're just going kind of step by step here. Um, I'm actually at the point where I'm not going to break a sweat. I just uh, working slow. Okay, staged some nails, got my trusses or whatever the heck they're called for the roof because this is a shed, not technically trusses. Brackets for the shelving, these are all for the window, so these will go in here. This is for my loft, so I'll attach that right up here, and then that one will go in between the, uh, that, the 24 stud, and then there'll be a little box there that goes 24, and then these are the trim for the shelving. That's all the shelving. Well, not all of that's the shelving in the in the workbench. And then it's got the two supports for the metal pegboard. So we'll get that going and I'll show you once that's complete. Uh okay, so we have the trusses up, um, loft, shelf, 
workbench, metal pegboard, uh, gable ends. So I need to get some nails for my siding gun and then I can get the gable ends up. And then there's uh, the roofing and some trim. Okay, well I suppose I should stop taking a break. Um, looking at myself in the camera, I need to trim and cut my hair again. I know it's so long, right? All right, I guess I'll get back to it. All right, well, I ended up taking like almost two hours for lunch. Um, but uh have the roof on, have the doors on, getting ready to do the, the gable ends here. Um, and then I'll be paper and doing paper and shingles. So about an hour left and shingling always takes me the longest because I get really lazy at this point. So, yeah, just standing up the last of what I need here. Again, it's really good to just stage your pieces as you go. That way you're not touching it a bunch of times. So, get this going and get a, get paper and shingled. So, well, cheap fracking nails. So, uh, finally done with the siding. Glad that's over. Uh, now we just have drip edge paper and shingles. Um, this particular roof takes about 45 minutes between all three, so I'll be down here pretty soon. Elite Shed.